What's up Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Black Series 6 inch action figure review. This time we've got number 83, the Battle Droid. Uh, this is a superb action figure that I'm going to need at least another three of, um, just to have a little squad of this one. So we've got the little write-up on the back saying Battle Droid. Rather than the flesh and blood warriors, the Separatists prefer mindlessly loyal soldiers that are easily controlled. Battle droids are dim-witted and no match for clone troopers or Jedi, but they weren't designed to be smart. They were designed to overwhelm Republic civilians through sheer numbers, something they do very effectively. Getting rid of that box, let's take a look at this guy. Um, yeah, this is fantastic figure, this really is. I'm going to tilt the camera up a little bit more, because he is a lot taller than I expected, and uh, it works well. I'll just compare him to Mace Windu in height, so it's about right, but yeah, it's a really nice figure, um, yeah, can't wait to have a few of these guys, a few of these guys, and no doubt we'll get some repaints and repacks in the future, um, but the articulation, you can fold him up, I haven't folded him up yet, so you're going to have to bear with me while I do that, but he does fold down into his little folded up pose. Um, but uh, yeah, I just want to give you a look at the figure as a whole before I do that. So some nice details throughout this guy. Nice paint apps, wear, wear and tear, weathering down the face. Articulation is plentiful, very impressive. We've got his droid blaster. looks nice. He also has the backpack is removable. You can switch it out for just the antenna. So you get just the antenna version of the battle droid. The great thing about the, uh, the backpack, if you can get it to focus, is that those antennas do drop down into it which is a seriously incredible feature, like they could have gotten away without that and would have been just as cool. So we're going to just have a look at this, so bear with me guys, because I haven't really spent a lot of time with this figure yet. So we're going we're gonna to go through this together, we're going to learn how to fold this bad boy up. Alright, let's start with the legs. So we've got, so let's have a look at the joints here, we've got ankle joints. And we've got a swivel there as well. Uh, knee joints. So they go up nicely like that, obviously. And there's a little bit of a ball, ball and socket joint there on the hips. So you get a little bit of outward movement. But these legs are going to fold up very nice and tight. As you can see, the groove just locks it in like that. Now, um, I think we go with the head next. So that little bit does pop up. The back of the head flips up. And I think we go down like that. And if we look at the arms, there is a swivel, and there is a hinge. an elbow joint, a forearm joint, a wrist swivel, a wrist hinge, no hand joints, so yeah, really basil stop So there we have it. Um, this might take some bit, of, take a little bit of practice to get this perfect. Um, I'm sure there is a right way and a wrong way to do this. I'm just gonna see if he sits on his own. There we have him. 
we can put the backpack back on and we can peg that blaster onto the side of the backpack all ready to fold out and head into battle it's an absolutely excellent figure I'm really really happy with this one I'm impressed I can't wait to get a couple more um, it'd be nice to nice to set up some scenes with with some Jedi taking these guys out quickly again there we go all set up all ready to go absolutely fantastic action figure so thank you for joining me for this video um, any comments and feedback just drop them in the comments below and I'll reply as soon as I can until my next video, may the force be with you.